somebody's mother. Why does it look like that? We're just gonna roll with it. Oh damn, my battery's about to die. What the f It is three o'clock in the morning and I just feel like playing with makeup and colors and digging into some things that I haven't touched in a while. This is the Morphe M158 brush and we're just going to spoolie our brows. Brings me to this whole ordeal. Just certain things to me that don't make sense that I've noticed over time. Let's just say makeup reviews, right? A lot of us tend to do first impression makeup reviews so and so, right? And a lot of us spend so much time talking about pricing. This is a brow pomade and this is by The Cream Shop. I think I got it at CVS. For instance, right, let's say I'm doing a review on this brow product right here. I don't wanna sit there and give you the nitty gritty on pricing information and how many ounces and stuff. I feel like that kind of stuff is subjective, if that makes sense. If you want to know how much it costs, look at their website. When I now bring reviews to you guys, I want them to be straight to the point. Yes, informative. I wanna focus more on the claims of the product and what the product is about. I might think something worth $100 is by far amazing, and the other person might say, this is absolute crap. Oh! Here we have the Brow Flick. This is by Glossier, and I love this. And I just used this basically to flick some little hairs in the front of my brows. I love that lioness look, always have, always will. One of my favorite concealers is the Ardell Camouflage Concealer, and I love her because just the formula of this little guy, you can tell it was made to be naturally formulated. So I love the doe foot, I scrape it off, and I just kind of follow. Where I'll take my Morphe sponge and I'll kind of just, you know, blend that and clean that up. Get these two palettes gosh i'm torn because i'm like do i want to start with you or do i want to start with you i want to just do like this beautiful essence of tropical golden goddess glam so we're going to take this color here in oromo beautiful beautiful just a deep orange shade if you will we're going to pop her into the crease and i'm using this what is this this is a brush that i think i got on amazon Theon? I don't know. Look, get you a blending brush, girl. I'm just gonna go ahead and buffer this like all. Buffer? Buff. Buff. <laughs> Other than that, if you guys don't know, I moved to Arizona. It is hot as hell out here. I'm gonna pop over to the Butter London palette and pick up the color in Femme, which is a beautiful, deep, turquoise color. Go ahead and pop this at the outer V. I'm just gonna kind of just keep smudging it. And we're just gonna get like this little angle. This is one of those colors that you kind of have to build up constantly because I know these blues are hard to make. I think we got her mixed. It was a little bit of work. Took a little bit of patience, but we got there together. We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! Yay! We did it! We're going to pop another color over top of that. And I'm just trying to figure out what color I want to do. I might do this one right here. This is the color in Aruba. I'm just kind of taking her with my finger and just kind of pressing it in. Oh yeah, she's beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and grab any white eyeshadow. It doesn't matter what you use, just grab a white. And go ahead and just recarve underneath your brow into that shadow just so and you can drag down the blend. Now I'm going to pick up this beautiful color in Chaga. Chaga is one hell of a beautiful shimmer. Right here next to everybody else to join the family. Love the color of this. I'm just gonna blend out with my finger because we're right there. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna pick up this color in Koro and we're just going to dab this onto the inner corner. Actually first, because I really want that to pop, we're gonna take some white, some good old, old fashioned white, and we're gonna pop this white on our inner corner because I really want this next shimmer to really just like pop. And I'm, I'm really just going for these nice shimmering eyes for this summer. Beautiful, it's like this beautiful green. 
with this white undertone and I just love the way it highlights the eyes and pop this on the upper brow bone as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some liner, sewing liner. All right, now something I like to do also is I like to not leave my liner just looking basic and bare. I actually like to take a black and I like to smudge it out. cleaned up underneath the eyes we smoked out the black liner this look is a very heavy look i must say but the more i look at my shirt and the more i look at my jewelry and the essence of things around me i'm like you're playing out really well i can't wait to pop on lashes and actually do my face because sometimes you need to see the end result to see if you really like it because i already prepped my face i'm not too keen on using primers sometimes sometimes i use them sometimes i don't i have them um, but because my face feels nice and hydrated, I feel like I could just go straight in with the foundation. So I'm going to be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in Honey Bronze. I love the titles for some of my um, foundations. I love when I get things that say sun beige or sand beige or golden nude or amber. And for instance, honey. I love honey and bronze. Like, it just makes me feel... It just makes me feel like the ultimate, yes, I'm doing it this way. D <sighs> you know, I've never done that before. <laughs> Maybe not the best choice, it's in my hair. <sighs> so now I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out this Simba mark. I'm going to take that same Ardell concealer and we are going to clean up, clean up, get a little bit of this down the nose. I don't really do the forehead because this forehead is huge. <laughs> take this Chanel bronzer. I love this bronzer so much and it smells so good. I just take this elf brush right here and just kind of just get in there so I can just create or just go up into the hairline. This is what's going to give us that kind of soulful hydrated glow. I'm taking the Carly Bible Moonstruck Dark Palette. I love the dark palette because I feel like it's such a rich toned palette, even for those of medium skin tones. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take just a, just a, just a smidget of this bronzer and a little bit of that one too with the glow. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just work this. Oh my gosh, it's so rich, so beautiful. Up this orange color right there in the palette. What color is this? This is called Sagittarius. I am not a Sag, I am a Cancer. I'm gonna take this on the backs of my cheeks and into my temples a little bit. <sighs> this is beautiful. I feel like this orange ties in with this green. Perfect. Just here on my nose. And I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Mega Highlighting Palette. I got this on their website. I don't know if they still have this. I hope so. Just by the way, guys, if it's hard for you to guys to find something, go on Macari, go on Poshmark, go on eBay. Well, be careful on eBay. Love this olive color right here. Do you see this olive color? It is beautiful. And I just feel like it's going to tie in with this look so well. Take my Smashbox Primer Water and I also spray with a little bit on the face. I'm just gonna go right here. Mm-hmm, look at that gold and that green. This is something that is definitely wearable and right up my alley. And then I just take this brush that we had our blush on and I kind of just blend into the cheek. Sometimes you want that ombre gradient where it just looks like your cheeks and the apples of the cheeks have like this beautiful glow, but then it just melts into the highlighter. 
Mm. This is a little lash pack that someone gave to me and I'm just going to cut them right in the middle so that I can use the front of the lash and have that flare, if that makes sense. Now, while those are drying, we're gonna go ahead and work on our lips. Take the Carly Bible El Maquillage Pencil. This is the lip liner in Luna. <laughs> to take the El Maquillage lipstick in Taurus. I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful nude. And already I love that. All right, so then I really do want to put on a gloss. So I am going to just take this lip oil. This is the LA Colors lip oil and is this like in a specific, and Honey Bun has little gold flakes in there. But this also helps in blend the lip liner to your lipstick. And the lashes are dry, so we're going to throw on mascara. Now, one of the mascaras I've been loving is the Snap Mascara. And this is in the color Black Cherry. Now, one of the tricks that I love doing is get a mascara that has like a reddish plum. Um, just something very close to black, but not black, but has like this rich purpley or red undertone and i'm telling you it just not only brightens up the eyes but brings out the color in your eyes it's so weird but I, i've noticed that you won't be able to tell on camera but in person it's amazing but with mascara on the bottom of the eyes i tend to only stay in the middle and go outward and sometimes just the outer piece because it just does something with elongating the eyes i didn't put any eyeshadow underneath my eyes you can i might just do it just to show you guys but if anything i'd probably just use the orange color now, last but not least, I'm just going to take my Farsali Gold Mist Spray and I'm going to spray the heck out of my face. So there you have it. This is the makeup look that I came up with. I'm not mad at it by any means. I feel like the lashes is popping, the lips are juicy, the skin is hydrated, lots of nice shimmers going on. Very bold look, but not overpowering to say the least. I'm just dropping stuff everywhere. It's time to clean my desk and go to bed. You could give this video a thumbs up and also share it as well as subscribe and hit the notification bell. Everything I use will be listed in the bottom bar below or up there to the side, left, right, upstairs, downstairs, wh wherever it may be. I'm gonna go quickly take some photos and my thumbnail and get some use out of this look before I take it off and go to bed, you know? So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next time, I will see you guys again. Probably tomorrow, I don't know. All right, bye.